I started having heavy periods some years back and that um, often took me to the hospital to complain. So when, on getting to the hospital, I was told I had, I should go for scans and the scans revealed that I had fibroid and I was advised to get rid of the fibroids. During my menstruation period, the flow is too heavy. So I'll not be able to sleep and I'll not be able to go out because I'll have to consider, I have to change so often and it's very uncomfortable. So that's all. And then also pain. I, then I'll have back pain, lower back pain. And apart from, even when I'm not on my period, um, lower part of my stomach i normally have pain just the pain comes and goes it's almost always comes and goes fibroids are the commonest tumors that are present in women in their reproductive age group and uh, especially in blacks who probably have a lifetime risk of about 70 to 80 percent of having uterine fibroids so it's a pretty common thing in our environment. This is just like the one of the odd options in your treatment of uterine fibroids. Conventionally, we treated fibroids by doing surgery. Okay, we started with a very invasive surgery, what we used to describe as uh, Cape Coast or Cairo. Now, when we talk about the invasive, we talk about either we're removing the uterus or we're doing myomectomy. Okay, myomectomy means you are sparing the uterus, but you are just removing the fibroids. Why? Hysterectomy is removing the uterus itself. Some people say that you cannot cure fibroids until you have removed the uterus. That is true, but what about somebody who still wants to have a baby? So, over time, we st we stepped into the minimally invasive route of treating uterine fibroids. So, this same operation, either myomectomy or hysterectomy, we started doing it through the laparoscope. The laparoscope is like um, what we call keyhole surgery, where you just make about a 10 mm incision and then you, you take off the fibroids through this. So, but now, we are now transited into non-invasive, not even minimally invasive, and that's where HIFU comes in. High Intensity Focus Ultrasound. HIFU is a relatively new clinical technology in Nigeria, but has been used in England, Germany, Spain, Singapore, Korea, Japan, and South Africa, amongst others. This is the first machine in West Africa. This is actually the third in the whole of Africa. It involves the use of high energy focused sound waves, focused ultrasound, that allows us to induce high temperatures to destroy tissue at accurate points without any damage to surrounding tissue or blood vessels. During this procedure, ultrasound will be used to terminally ablate the fibroids. What it does, it does not use X-ray, so it's not, it's not uh, ionizing radiation. This is ultrasound, so it's, you're converting sound energy to heat, and that's the heat that burns off these uh, fibroids. So it's that you stay there for about two hours, you can be chatting if you like, you can listen to music if you like, but we want you to, we want to be able, you just must be able to communicate with us, so that if you are uncomfortable, we want to know, so that we can reset the machine to another place, for example, um, some of the common complaints that people can have is that if the abdomen becomes too hot, we can stop for a while because we don't want the skin to be burnt. Uh, if, the, if you are having pain in your legs, that's a very important thing. We, we reset the machine to burn other places because there's some fibers that are very near the nerves. So if you're having pain in your legs, that means that the nerves are being hit and we, we need to change the direction of where we're hitting from. And that's why we don't even send patients to sleep. There is no anesthesia, so no general anesthesia. So the patient is, we want the patient to be able to talk to us. I'm um, aware that there might be little, dis there might be some pain or a little discomfort and heat. It actually is discomfort, not pain, pain, pain. It's discomfort. But once it becomes unbearable to you, we want you to let us know. Now, the ultrasound heats up to about 60 to about 100 
degrees centigrade. That's boiling point. Okay. Right? But the water okay. does not get to that. Okay. Because it's just the passage. Oh. So okay. what you feel actually is like the back scatter of these rays. Oh. Okay. So the water is usually about 10 to 15 degrees centigrade. Okay. Which is not very hot. Okay. Before this, we have prepared, done a lot of preparation for the patient. Of course, we first start with the history, look at that the patient is uh, qualified to be treated by HIFU. And then we do the scan to start with to see that the fibroids qualifies to do that then to be used to be done with a high food. Then we do MRI to localize the fibroid and then it's from the, that we now set the machine. We have prepared the barrel because uh, that's one of the things that we also need to be careful of. You know, so usually we'll have given them what to eat, what not to eat. Also, we would have uh, emptied the barrel to see, to be sure that, because sand energy is what we're going to use and sand does not travel through gas. So we want to read the intestine of gas as much as possible and keep the intestine out of the way when we are doing the procedure. is that I'll be a healthy person without fight, without heavy bleeding, without I'll be able to sleep. Uh, you know, when I'm on my period, I'll be able to sleep throughout the night, and I'll be able to go to work regularly. I won't have to take the whole like the whole week off, and I'll be able to also go for occasions because another thing is that you can't really go, you can't travel, you can't go for occasions when I when you are on, you know, because of the heavy flu. So now I hope. Going forward, I'll be able to do all those things. We don't cut. There is no scar at all. There is no blood loss at all. What the patient just does, she lies still on the table for about uh, two hours, one and a half hours. And it's like you cut on the machine. You cut it into slices and you burn slice by slice, line by line, until you burn off the fibre with this blood supply. With HIFO. No need of general anesthesia or spinal anesthesia during the treatment. The treatment is not subject to the size and shape of tumors. There is organ preserving without damaging other normal tissues. One single session of ablation treatment will usually suffice. With HIFU, there is a short treatment time and quick recovery. No radiation. The patient that is not ideal are very obese patients because the distance where the ray has to travel through the sand ray has to travel through might become too far for for where this the source of the energy is coming from uh, the second patients are patients who probably have had uh, scars from previous surgery because there is the possibility of the uh, uh, gut or the intestine gumming to the wall of the abdomen and that might make it not be able we might not be able to displace it but to do all this we always do something we call a simulation hypho is safe and effective in treating uterine fibroids and adenomyosis it is a promising treatment alternative with the advantages of precision non-invasiveness rapid recovery and readiness for pregnancy We think the uptake will be good and uh, that's why also we are going to encourage other doctors to see how it works, teach them how it works and perhaps we'll, some of them also will fall in love with it and the people, the patients also will fall in love with it.